I want to make a couple of statements before we get started. That nobody speaks unless I recognize them. If it starts getting out of order, we'll adjourn and go go separate ways until next month. But like I say, we're going to and uh, any any comments or anything will be held at the end unless I so desire. Okay, everybody understand? Sure. Okay. All right. Now let's meet in order. First item of business, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the next item is approval of November the 8th, 2018 uh, minutes. Make a motion to approve these minutes. Okay, I have a second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve these minutes. Any discussion? If not, all in favor? Amen. Okay. Next item is approval of the work session minutes. Uh, basically, worked on the 2019 budget. Uh, we'll need to uh, set a date for public hearing. December 6th meeting, and that's pretty much what uh, the meeting was. So, I'll obtain a motion. I make a motion to accept the working meetings. Okay, we'll have a second. Okay, we'll have a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor? Next item is approval of the November financial report. Can you make a statement in regards to the financial report, please? I recognize the Uh There's a charge on here, the Times Journal, for $95. Um, in doing the advertising for Heritage Days, there was an overlap. Uh, Times Journal was has been acquired by the Marietta Daily Journal, so that amount should have been in with the fee that we paid them for the 12 ads that we do with them. I have spoke with them this week. We will be getting a refund of $92 and something from them. Okay. I a motion to accept the financial statement. I make a motion to accept the financial statement for the month of November 2018. Okay. Do I have a second? Okay. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor? Okay. Next item is uh, to uh, set a date for uh, public hearing for uh, the 2019 budget. Uh, there will be uh, two public hearings that need to be run in the paper. Uh, and I guess uh, either we're running out of time, so I guess the uh, 2019 budget would be uh, voted on January meeting. So. 
fourth. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, the third, the third. Yeah, the third. So, uh, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna be able to get the paper. Um, I'll say uh, Monday night at uh, 6.30 and then uh, do one that Thursday at 12 o'clock. What dates? It'll be the 17th and the 20th. Sorry. 17th and 20th. The 20th? Yeah. Okay. The will be at 12 p.m. The 17th will be at 6:30 uh, p.m. Of January? No, of uh, December. December. Yeah, and then we'll vote on it in January the third, first meeting of uh, that. Okay. Thank set those two public hearings. I have a motion to set for those dates uh, Monday the 17th and Thursday the 20th of December. Okay, do I have a second? Okay, we have a motion and a second to set the dates for the public hearing. Any other discussion? The top, all in favor, show the right hands. Okay, all in favor. Uh, next item is uh, amendment to the 2018 budget. Uh, anytime you run over, and like I say, I didn't have the figures, so uh, if we want to uh, table this to the uh, January the third meeting to amend the uh, 2018 budget, but if you do not uh, stay on budget, you have to have an amendment to the budget to uh, make it legal. So I recommend that we really take a list till January the 3rd to, uh, to actually get the actual numbers and stuff together that we went over. It's not, I don't think it's that bad, but still we have to do that. I have a question. Okay. Um, so um, we have to show proof of this amendment and vote against that amendment on that day on that third? Yes, basically what it is, if you, if you go over what your stated budget for 2018 in any department, and then for sure on the overages, and I, uh, just looking, not having hard numbers, just estimating, I think, you know, we set the budget to 7000 or something, and I think there might be uh, two or $3,000 over. Okay. And some of those overages would be for the large fees for the house, red house over here, that we, and then the land survey, which was a thousand dollars. So there was some expenses that we didn't budget for that came about. Okay. So I make a motion that uh, on January 3rd uh, we review and make an amendment to our 2018 uh, financials. So basically, all, all we need is just say that we'll table amending the budget to making a motion that we table the uh, 2018 budget. Okay. Amendment. Amendment. Okay. Now a second. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor? Okay. All right. Uh, so Charles Allen did the vote. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, bids for the work on town hall. As far as my knowledge, did you receive any? Uh, I put in the paper for two weeks for bids on the work of town hall uh, to work uh, on the items that the grant covered. No one responded. I did talk to a company that uh, uh, would come out. Sorry, I'm running late. I, I like to say I was work late. If I can find it here. 
for the <coughs> basically it was aqua guard that came up here and advised us on how to stop the water back here they were the only company that came up here I apologize for being more organized While this is pulling up, I'll, I'll tell you what the work consists of, and then hopefully it'll pull up and tell you the map. Uh, basically, what they're going to do is remove all the sheetrock and demo all the sheetrock on the outside walls along the back, 50 foot and then 10 foot on each side. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to uh, uh, remove the uh, shower and the women's. Uh, but basically what they're going to do is they're going to chisel off the concrete and put a gutter system in and drill holes in the bottom of the concrete so they're not going to stop the water from coming in but they're going to redirect the water. And they're going to put in a uh, sump pump and then pump the water out away from the building. Um, and the, the work is guaranteed for the life of the building. So he, as long if it comes leaking on any of that section, they'll repair it for free and any damage, uh, anything from that, you know. But he said if we had a problem, we could add on to it, uh, no problem. Just, let me try to get off the line. Did they give you a phone price or just an estimate? Well, actually, I want to see you. Okay, uh, project summary. They got my basement. I don't know why they took my basement. But anyway, total uh, investment is... Okay, all right. So the total price of... Uh, the pump and all the insulation demo work. Now they were not going to put any of that stuff back. They're also going to put a vapor barrier back there on that back wall uh, along where they uh, demo and install the drain uh, system, the gutter system. Uh, the current price is $8,108.15. Uh, deposit required 20%. Um, which is uh, $1,621.63 and then at the end of it it'd be $6,487 at the end of the job. Uh, so like I say now, now the pump, you know, I think it's a five-year warranty uh, five-year warranty, but as far as the, the gutter system itself, it's a lifetime guarantee. Um, so this is not uh, in the scope of work under the, uh, the grant that it says, but uh, I can't get a hold of them, so uh, like I say, it's up to the council to either go with this contract here or not. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I know we've had some problems with it, and I I know we had tarp up back there on the back, and we believe that part of that was coming in behind that wood uh, siding that we had on. Will this help <coughs> take care of that problem as well? Well, basically what this is going to do is it's going to catch all the water that's coming in. It's going to relieve the pressure against the back wall. It's basically what your what this does. I, I watched a bunch of videos. Basically, when you dig a hole for a, a basement or anything, you build the basement, and then you put uh, your uh, print strain in and stuff. Over years, that that print strain gets clogged up and stuff and stops up. I'm not saying that this is, but what that does then it puts pressure, hydraulic pressure, and the water's got to go somewhere. So it creates a pressure, and it's going to find the least resistant 
uh, way to come in, and this is coming up through the uh, the floor. That's where it's coming up at. Uh, I, I shot a video when it was coming in and showed that guy. He said, uh, Mark Grizzle, uh, one of the store owners, uh, met with us over here, and uh, I mean, like I say, that's they're not going to try to stop the water from coming in, but they're going to get the water out. <coughs> I have a question. Yes. So um, you said that the sheetrock and the things that they're going to take out, they're not replacing that. So that's, that's correct. another construction that we're going to have to yeah. before we get fixed. Yeah. And then uh, if, so we know for a fact that it will not be approved under the grant? Well, I don't know for a no. fact that it, that it will. I'm just, what the girl told me was as long as we follow the scope of work under that grant, that any money, as long as that all that work was done, any money that's left over, we could keep and spend somewhere else. So I just want to make sure that that if we do this and it's uh, uh, not under a scope of work, and they come up here and audit this, uh, there's a chance that you know okay. we might have to pay this back, and then again we might not. But the, the gentleman said that the the uh, uh, rubber sealant or what was suggested by the uh, uh, scope of work would not work. Uh, basically, you know, we're, yeah. it, it's going to keep pr put pressure on it, and then it's going to find its way in. Sure. And those blocks are hollow. So, so the question. Um, okay. So, the pro so the proposed is that we would pay out of our current budget now, and then get reimbursed out of that grant. Yes. Okay. If we, both of we. I mean, she told me it'd be 12 weeks after she received the paperwork, so, I mean, it's only been two months uh, since I talked to her and actually got the signed paper back to her. Okay. But, like I say again, I mean, this is something that uh, is going to have to, I mean, one way that is going to have to be done to be able to continue to use this building because, I mean, water has come all the way up to where the guests are sitting right there now. So, uh, but like I say, that's up to y'all if y'all want to hold off with that was a proposal. We didn't get any uh, bids. Uh, they're about to come uh, four or five weeks out, I think, at least, on the uh, construction coming and doing that. Uh, but I will tell you that the grant says that we have to have all the work done by the end of February of 2019. Okay. I'm just stating the facts, so whether y'all want to go with it or not, that's, that's up to y'all. Well, like I say, I'll run it for two weeks in the Jasper paper and didn't get any response from anybody. So, y'all want to move forward with it? Or, or I make a motion because before we can move forward any of the other repairs in the building, the water's got to be stopped. So I make a motion that we approve to let AquaGuard come in here and do that work, and then that would also give us a chance to get bids just on the work that has to be done on the inside, and it would give us an opportunity to make sure that that's going to work before we put the money into replacing the sheet rock and stuff. Well, I mean, I, you know, I did contact some people and told them that it was in the paper if they wanted to bid. Uh, some people and nobody responded. I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, I couldn't tell them to, you know, just it's going to be in the paper if you're, you know, in the sheetrock business. If you want to come out here and, and and bid it, I mean, I'll put it in there that what would need to be done as far as this and, and what insulation needs to go back and stuff. So, like I say, I didn't hear back from anybody. The problem is there's so much work out there now. That they don't have to hunt for. I mean, work comes in. Uh, it's a problem. And then people don't want to work either. So, anyway, uh, so we have a motion on the floor to uh, accept the Aqua uh, uh contract to do the uh, repairs to the building uh, for 8000 <coughs> Eight thousand one hundred and eight dollars and fifteen cents. Do I have a second? I second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. 
Any other discussion? If not, all in favor? Okay, ma'am. Uh, like I said, I'll sign the contract for them and then get Buffy to write a check. Uh, and I might try to hold off to, to January so that we're not over over budget any, anymore. But I'll tell them to get on the contract. Okay, next item uh, on the uh, agenda is Heritage's report from Cheryl. Um, after Buffy and I have had a chance to go over the numbers, and with that $92 that is coming in, plus we have one sponsorship check that is not here yet, but I have been assured that it will be here. Uh, it's coming out of Tupelo, Mississippi. Um, this year, Heritage Days, the, the council had budgeted $5,500 to do Heritage Days, and all we had to take out of the general funds was roughly $540. So I think we did good. In spite, even with the rain, I think we did really well. So. Okay. Uh, just to let y'all know, with everything that we had talked about in the work session on the budget, Heritage Days or the Christmas program was not mentioned or put in the budget. Um, like I say, with all the repairs and stuff that we had said, that we was doing, uh, and like I say, not knowing what this is going to do, uh, like I say, uh, we're probably going to spend uh, uh, almost everything that we're taking in next year, I guess. But like I say, y'all, it wasn't mentioned, so that be something that uh, y'all need to discuss and, and uh, get with me to put it on in the budget. Um, but like I said, it wasn't in the budget. So anyway, going on the Christmas report. I mean, yeah, the program report. Um, when we decided to do this year's Christmas program, we had said that if we didn't have any more people than we had the previous year, that we wouldn't consider doing it again. Well, apparently somebody must have heard that because we had over a hundred kids show up to see Santa. Now the the expense that we had on that was $65 for the tree. We got a good deal on the tree and $300 for Santa. Uh, I bought material and, and baked 10 dozen cookies. Andrea, we ran out. She went and bought more cookies and uh, we used leftover coffee. I bought the hot chocolate and donated it. So the only expense that you had was $365. Well, they'll be on the ads and I don't know if we've received the bill on the ads yet and I think the ads were would be just a little over a hundred dollars from what the deal that they gave me but I just wanted to let you know that it was a huge success and people were lined up I'd say at least 30 to 45 minutes before it even started so so it was a success and I want to thank um, Andrea, Andrea got out here and, and um, did the lifting and stuff to get the Christmas tree up. I did hire my nephew out of my pocket to help us get the tree put in the stand and get it set up. Um, Andrea helped doing all the uh, garlands, the bows, decorating the tree. And then Melissa and Kenny came out and helped set up and help serve and, and do the arts and crafts with the kids that night and helped take them. So thank y'all very much. I appreciate your help. Okay. <coughs> if there's not anything as far as motions uh, needs to come for the two of us, the business. Question. I'm sorry, I kept thinking. So we, we just had a motion that we're going to go over the budget for next council meeting. But we don't have heritage days uh, proposed in that. No, we do not. So are we going to have a working group a week prior to that? Um, and it's basically January first. But I think uh, you know my recommendation is that we relook at that site. I feel <coughs> passionate about having the heritage days. Um, I think we just have to look at the budget. Like I said, that's up to y'all. Uh, y'all know y'all schedule more than I do. 
But you'll need to do that before the public hearing, right? Yes, yes. you'll have to do it before public the public hearing. hearing. Okay. If, uh, can we make a motion to uh, submit that now and based and use those numbers that we had for last year, 5,500? Uh, yes, we can. Uh, but like I say, just remember that we can't go over what we take in. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yes, sir. I mean, if we. If we take in 90, we can't spend 95. Yeah. I mean, it's against the law. I think we can. If uh, no other uh, business parts. Uh, now, do you, do you also go in based on what the expenses was for the Christmas program this year? Do you still want to do that next year? Yeah. Both those programs. Okay. If those been, you know, if they've been successful in this town, uh, I, I don't see the Christmas thing unless something about a, a tree, because I had thought it would be about one hundred and ten dollars. But I mean, I, we can always get a smaller tree if we have to. But um, he did get us a special deal on this one. It was going to be one hundred and ten, but he got it for us for sixty five. So if we get ladies in the community to help donate the cookies and stuff, then. You're just going to have coffee and hot chocolate that you, other than the Santa and the tree. If I may, have we budgeted a certain price for that in the past? No, we have not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that, absolutely. I think we would be safe to say $500. Okay. Thank you. So roughly we're looking at six grand to be added to the budget proposal mm -hmm. for 2019. And I think we've already at 88,000 and we only take in 90 with all the other things. And that's to reduce some of the trash. Yes. But keep in mind that here these days only cost you $540 this year or so. Uh, that's correct. But like I say, that doesn't give you any room for any thing that happens you know, on a family. But, but as you had stated, it is possible that we are going to get reimbursement for those repairs that we just agreed for the $8,100. Uh, yes, it's possible. It's possible. But well, like I say again, I you know, want to reiterate that you know, they could have come and I, back and audit and want all that money back. So, mm. you know, like I say, uh, and they have audited the uh, city of Jackson. You know, the problem is, is we, we've only got so much money coming in and there's so much stuff. To, uh, and I think we've cut all that we can cut uh, on everything. And uh, I, don't, I don't know where else that we can cut as far as, you know, reducing down. So, uh, well, how long have you had prepared this? Uh, about 25, 26 This year will be 25 years. Yes, it was. So can I make a motion? Well, I mean, we can add that. I mean, oh, I mean, yeah. you don't have to have a motion to add it. Okay. I mean, you know. Well, then, yeah, I think, I, you know, I, we need to add that. I think we need to add that, and then we'll have uh, a special council or workshop to relook at the numbers for the budget. Yeah. Okay. Because, so, I mean, that is, the, mm -hmm. that is the cornerstone of our town. Uh, especially in the last 25 years, and uh, I think that's non-negotiable. So we'll work, we'll work to get that. Okay. We do have one more item. Um, I received a text today from uh, one of our property owners that's up on um, off of 136. We had approved their plan, and. Let me bring up her text so I don't misquote what she said. Um, okay, hang on. Let me get down to where it's supposed to be. Okay, they have 40, I would say 46 acres. Is that about right, Lamar? Because let me tell you what she's wanting to do. She and her father. They had gone in and bought uh, a large tract, 
and it may have been 50 something between both of them. They've got hours. 64 acres total. Okay. We had approved that and had approved for it to be in divided into two um, two lots, okay, large lots. After they have consulted with their attorney, um, they're going to be putting a farm, their home and a farm, on uh, part of this property. They have been advised by their attorney to take and survey out two acres for their home and then put the business, which is the farm, into an LLC. Am I, am I, am I saying that right, Lamar? That was what I okay. got it. That, that's, that's what I got to you. So she wanted me to ask the council if they would be in favor of them being able to do that, being able to cut out two acres for their home and put the business portion, which she said would be 44.13 acres, into their LLC, which will be their farm business. Now, I, I'm just relaying the message. Okay. Is she doing horses? They're horses. They're horses. It's a horse. Uh, like that, I, I remind everybody that that you know the the state and all the things uh, really advise against of any adding thing that is uh, you're really supposed to. Put it to the public before you bring it before the council and and, and uh, vote on it. Uh, we can put that on next month, uh, January 3rd, uh, and let all the public, uh, you know, know about it. Because uh, I mean, not an official vote, but I don't think anybody would have a problem with that being done. Yes, sir. Um, I, I guess some of this information just came to me today, so I'm not 100% sure that I'm clear what they want to do. I did receive a, um, a text with an overlay of where there was a two-acre cutout where their house was going to be built that does have road frontage on 136. And, um, you know, it's my understanding that Talking Rock had has already... Uh, you know, in their ordinances that there's a two acre minimum for a home site. So I'm not sure what the intent is to do is to, is to separate. They're basically wanting to divide their track, a 46 acre track, in, uh, into two tracks. Is that right? Is that? That's what the, I'm reading it. She says, we just want one lot cut out, two acres for the house, that will put 44.13.13 acres in our LLC's <coughs> name and the two acres for our house in our name. That's the text. I'm reading it word for word. So but I agree. I agree with Randy in that we approved this and, and some of the other people around them we're under the understanding that it was all going to be big tracks. So if we're going to go back and change it, then I think there needs to be a public hearing so that the people who bought the other tracks are aware of what's going on and can put their input into it. Yeah, I was just trying to be, clarify what was happening because I, was, I have not actually spoken to them. Right. Um, I was busy today and I got a text and so I was trying to understand myself. She went on to say, since we will be using it for farm use, our lawyer advised us to put the land in our LLC's name. To help speed the process for them, since we're already having public hearings on the 17th at 6.30, could we include a public hearing on this? Well, I mean, I, don't, I mean, really, honestly, I don't think you have to have a public hearing. You just need to put it on the agenda. But 
because they're not wanting to rezone it or anything. I mean, all everything's going to be rural agriculture. Uh, but the public needs to know. You know, we need to put it on the agenda and stuff, and let them know that it's coming up in January. I, I mean, I think because I mean, all we're doing is subdividing. That's right. You know, I mean, I think. You know, but I mean, if y'all want to put it <coughs> above here, that's up to y'all. But like I said, I just don't think. I mean, well, I, just, I mean, then okay, then just put it on there. I mean, I'm just asking. You know. I mean, I just I just want to make sure everybody's aware that this is coming up. They can read the agenda and stuff, and that we're, we're covered. Seems like it should just be an agenda item. Yes, I think so too. So. Okay. Not any other further business? <coughs> Motion to adjourn. There is a item that is on my sheet that is. Um, has my name on it that is saying resignation of council member Cheryl Sams. I will not be resigned. Well, we're, like I say, not getting into anything, but that's what you said at the work session, so that's why I was on the agenda. Right, and things were said in the heat of the moment, and you have said to make the same statement that they used to, but I. Nothing's in writing, and I'm not going to be resigned. So. Well, just to make it clear, like I say, I don't think nobody else is leaving, and you're only one vote. So I think uh, I'm So I have a motion to adjourn. I have a motion to adjourn this meeting. Okay. So done.